Hey, Bill. Val. I appreciate the advice that you gave me on how to use space tape to fix major malfunctions. It was great. Well, I'll see you later then. But can space tape fix glitches that occur in an aircraft system? What do you mean, Bunny? One time, I was flying an airplane and its computer glitched, causing the ailerons to automatically apply themselves. Do tell. Do you want the short version of the story or the long version? The long version. Okay, here's the long version. Well, it was August 1st, 2018. I was commanding Rabbit Airlines Flight 4825, which was operated by an Airbus A350. I know, the plane says Qatar Air, but it's obviously a Rabbit Airlines plane. Now I'll let you know that the flight started out absolutely normal. The plane departed on time from San Diego, California. Now I should tell you this, Flight 4825 is a route that goes from San Diego to San Francisco, California. The flight is at flight level 350, which translates to 35,000 feet, which translates to over 10,000 meters. The speed is at over 500 knots, and the plane flies along the coast of California for the whole time. So you can see the Pacific on one side, and then the coast of California on the other side. And the flight was going normally, until suddenly, while flying over the Pacific west of Los Angeles, the ailerons decided to glitch. Bank angle, bank angle. Sink rate, pull up. Now doing barrel rolls, I began to plunge into the nearby hills. Right around here, I began to assume that I was going to regain control of my aircraft. But then I didn't. Oh my goodness, that sounds horrible. Did you die? Did I die? What kind of a question is that, Jub? I don't know. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the downward spiral into LA's nearby hills. Bank angle, bank angle. Sink rate, pull up. You wanna know how to go supersonic in a jumbo jet? Do this deathward downward spiral that I did because that's how fast I was flying before I was able to regain control of my aircraft at around 15,000 feet. Mach 1 being said, I had to deploy the air brakes when I got to around 10,000 feet because there is a speed limit rule in which uh, can go no faster than 250 knots below those altitudes. As can be seen, I banked hard left when I deployed the air brakes, but after that I was able to regain control of the airplane finally. Having finally stabilized the aircraft and not wanting to take any other chances, I flew back over to Los Angeles where I made an emergency landing on runway 6 left at LAX. Everyone survived, and that's the end of my story. Wow, great story, Bunny! And now my question to you, can you use space tape to fix computer glitches? Uh, no I don't think so. That is my lesson to you. Now you should be able to determine what problems can be fixed using space tape. Cool. Thanks for the advice. No problem, Jeb. What up, tubers? The Imaginative Esther Bunny here, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now this story is based on a glitch that I had found out in Geoflight Simulator concerning the weird aileron application that can actually happen. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. India Alpha Bravo checking out.